When a car drives by you, do you ever wonder what might be inside of it? What if it was something illegal? Well, in today's video, you're about to see criminals being pulled over by the cops who end up discovering some shocking things in their possession. In Akron, Ohio, on July 7th of 2022, a traffic stop was initiated on a black sedan. At first, all seems well, until the passengers of the vehicle start to fight back. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Get back in the car. Hey, get back in the car. Get back in the car. Hey. No. S signal five, get it. Hey, 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 46, 46. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, no, 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 no. Get down, get down. All right. Hey. I'm on the ground. Hey, get on the fucking ground. Hey, behind your back. Hey, behind your back. I'm on the ground. Get your hands on my neck. Stop it. Hey, Demarion Greer ran, uh, Eastbound. Hey, si signal five. No. Sir, I'm just a kid. Give me your fucking hand. Give me your fucking hand. I'm just a kid, sir. I'm just a kid. 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 I didn't do nothing. I'm just a kid. Get in. Get in. Sprack, you good? Hey, get, get us cars now. How come good? Help me. I can't breathe. Hey, I'm not your arms behind your back. Get your arms behind your back. Help me. Arms behind your back now. Let me off the ground. No. Officers, I swear to God. I'm down. Run, Noah. You want the cop. I'm down. Help me up, please. Stop. Hands behind your back. Are you a police? Help me up. Hey, hands back. behind your back. I'm trying to get to an officer. I swear to God. Do it now. Okay, look. Stop resisting. Look, look, please help me up. Stop resisting. Look, you push my tape on. Stop resisting. Officer, I swear. I'm going to hit you again. All right, please. Left arm behind your back. Look, 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 look. Left arm. Left arm behind your back. Do it now. Please help me up. Do it now. Do it now. Stop resisting. All right, we got him. Hey. hey, there's one more. All right, hey, there's one more that ran northbound, north eastbound. Is uh, he's the Marion Greer. He's uh, black male, uh, white shirt. Uh, there's multiple firearms in the vehicle. 18-year-old Demarion Greer was caught, along with a 17-year-old passenger. The driver, 18-year-old Xavier Brooks, initially escaped the scene, but was eventually caught. For now, it's time to search the vehicle. All right. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Um, you got gloves? I want to find this guy. No, I got 33, we're noble and happy. Do you have a, uh... Gotcha. Hey, you good? You good? You all right? Hey, we got, we got, there's like four guns in the car. Uh, you got the app? Yeah. I need you to take pictures of these. There's one right there. Huh? That way. Yeah. Through, hey, behind this house, 423. Hey, he's on the database. What's up? Hey, that male has friends that live at the Northwest Corner House of Bacon. Hey, t yeah, take pictures of everything. I got pictures of that. You got pictures of that? All right. Hey, you see this, man? Exactly. Exactly what? 
And why'd they run? Just walk back. No, that's hey, Joe, you know the address that they... No, pack of address. Jam? No. There might be a round jam. No, I already got it. You got it? Yeah, it walks. Obviously. Yeah, fine. Let's get it. Fuck. We got one in the back of ours, too. He's young. Yeah. Bad, he was standing on my neck. I ain't even do nothing. Hey, LT. Officer Sprague actually knows those house numbers. I can't think of it at the moment. Jackpot. Two Glock handguns and a Draco AK-47 pistol were found alongside some suspicious substances. Bystanders shout at the officers from afar, while the young suspect lies about having his neck stood on. However, these two are anything but victims. Hey, I need I need you to step back. I need you to step back. Hey, any cell phones you see? We need, we need those. Yeah, if you get 32 roll our way, uh, one year old male, please. Who is y'all doing? Senior 31. Going through this one more time. Yeah. Hey, so we got four guns in that car. Another handgun, an M1911, is found in the suspect's vehicle. Each suspect received charges for improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle and carrying concealed weapons. While the 17-year-old was taken to a juvenile detention facility, the others were sent to jail. More shocking discoveries are about to be uncovered in the next clip. Police officers in Marshfield, Wisconsin, identified a man behind a wheel on February 28th of 2023 as someone who had active warrants on him. After initiating a traffic stop, the driver continued to speed away at speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in zones designated for 25 miles per hour. Let me see your hand. Hands out the window. Stay back. Stay back. Back to the back. Hands out the window. Both hands. 
Both hands, roll the window down. Roll the window down. Throw the keys out the window. Throw the keys out the window. Hey, Jesse, I can take commands back here. Passenger, with your right hand, I want you to reach out and, and open the door. Okay, go ahead and unlock it. Driver, keep your hands out the window. Okay, if your seatbelt's out, go ahead and step out. Face away from me. Face away from me. Okay, slowly walk back toward the sound of my voice. Okay. Keep your hands up. Stop. Stop. Okay. Grab the back of your jacket, the top of your jacket. Okay. Pull it up. And then just slowly turn around. Keep turning around. Keep turning around. Okay, stop. Okay. Put your jacket back down. Hands up in the air. Slowly walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. Face the other way. I got you. Go down to your knee. Yep, go down to your knees. Okay, then just stay like that with your hands in the air, okay? You stay cool. Everything will be all right, right? With the passenger out, it's time to get to the driver and have him exit the vehicle peacefully so they can put him in handcuffs and search the vehicle. Hands in the air now. What? Face away from me with your hands in the air. Slowly walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep walking. I got you. Keep walking. Keep walking. Okay, I want you to go down to your knees, okay? Okay, don't move. We'll put some handcuffs on you. All right, thanks for being quiet. Anyone else in the car, man? It's just the two of you? Okay. 39 Marshall, be copy 1095 with two. You're standing up and put yep. All right, can we do just a little bit of a search on him back there? Weapon search. I'm just checking his waistband. And, and then my girlfriend's got cancer too. She's dying. And my little sister. My dad just died. My family. Everybody got going. And they got nothing left of me. Sorry, dude. I just wanted to go. I was hoping he'd shoot me, huh? You got any knives or guns on you? Well, That's what I, might have I, a knife. I That's what best we're worried about. If it's not in that pocket, then I probably don't have one. Sure. That's all he's got on. Yeah, please take a puff of the city before you go to jail, please. Got, please. Okay, let's grab that out, too. Can I have a puff of that city? Yeah, yeah, we'll please, bro. Well, that's yeah, all I care about. Whatever you guys need, man. I'm sorry, man. I didn't even have my dad's funeral yet. Sorry, guys. Not to apologize. Man. Oh. Well, that's enough to hit the passenger sitting on his seat. I don't know. Oh my god. Look at all these phones. There's some meth on the seat. There's the passenger seat. Yeah, there's a ton of cameras in there. The driver was charged with vehicle operator flea elude officer and charges for both possession of methamphetamines and drug paraphernalia. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, a driver was pulled over by a traffic stop due to a missing license plate. This whole affair occurred on January 31st of 2020. The thing is, this driver had some dirt on him and he was carrying something peculiar. Hello. You don't have a license plate, man. I know, I just bought my seatbelt ahead of time. Okay, you don't um, have a license plate. I just bought this vehicle two days ago. Oh, okay. And I went and got the title changed today, so the title's in my name. Okay, do you have um, it with you? I gotta go get my emissions in the morning, and then I get it registered. Do okay, you have a title with you? Oh, I got it with me right here. Do you have an ID with you? I got my license. Can I see it? Can you get a chance? Yeah. And I'm supposed to roll over on my insurance too. Okay. Okay. Can you hand me your keys real quick? Yeah. Thank you. And do you have any weapons in the car? No. Can you step in the car for me? Sure. So I got a one or one? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So I step in the car. Just get it taken care of, sir. So we don't have any issues. 
just get it handled. We don't want any incident. I just had police pull me over yesterday and there was no uh, don't reach for that. Okay, we see that bulge you face this vehicle. You see what? I see a bulge in your pocket. A bulge? Just uh just listen to us, man. We appreciate your cooperation. Like I said, you're not, you're not picking up any new charges. Listen, you're not picking up any new charges. You just gotta handle this warrant, okay? It looks like you're just. They're telling me right now, and they told me not to come in contact with you guys. I don't have one. Hello, you have a driver's license? Can you drive? I have a driver's license. Okay. I'll grab that for me so I can make sure. Are you okay with her taking the vehicle? She don't even. She's my homeboy's friend. I live in Barrelas. Okay. Look at my well, it's either that or your car gets towed, man. That's fine. I just got my car out of tow today, my other okay. car. Do you want it towed or do you want her to take it? I, I don't know her. I okay, so you need it taken? Okay. Need you need it towed. All right, go ahead and get out of the vehicle, ma'am. You're not going to be able to take it. I don't have no socks here. Okay, cool. You're going uh, the shoes that you got. What kind of warrant do I have, man? It's like a felony warrant for battery. <laughs> battery against a police officer. That's what it says. 35-year-old Frederico Gonzalez was discovered to have an active warrant for battery against a police officer. While his car is searched, wads of cash are uncovered, alongside drugs. Ah, uh, hold on, there's still more. Okay, you know what, the second you find uh, any sort of 57, stop and back out. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, no. Let's just stop. Let's see how much. Let's count this up. I haven't gotten all the cash yet. What's in there? More cash. Yeah, this is. A just kind of flip there. This is this is real. Right, so let's just keep what we got out out here. Stop going through anything in there. Let's just get a rough estimate of what we got. Okay. Hang on, just uh, let's put it in the bag, all of it in the bag, and then we're gonna go to the south. We're gonna go to the southern way, so. in, a, in a second. Now nah, yeah. we have to finish the here. We have to make a phone call. Yeah. So is it is it just this black bag or is no? Yeah. Not so the black way. bag is. So that's the other thing that's got all the money in. Yeah. Okay. Have, have a look. Just the way it's sorted. Well, yeah. And then that bag's also got money in it. Yeah. What's this all about? I, I have no was that idea. how he was sitting on it? Yeah. I don't smell anything. I don't know. The car smells funny, if you ask me. It does. But there's, uh, I mean, there's pipes in the door. Yeah. Did you guys move this thing around at all or no? Or, or maybe it's just the shoes are funky. Man, those are some funky shoes. Cause I just stuck my face down there. Earlier during the search, Gonzalez attempted to bribe the officers with cash, albeit unsuccessfully. After being read his Miranda rights, he questioned about the source of the dosh. I'll take that as you want to talk to me. Hey, you said you're not a drug dealer. How much money is that? Oh, it's, it's, it's... How much money is it? Give me a number, give me a figure. It's a lot. How much is a lot? It's a lot, but it's not too much. Whose money is that? It's mine. I just opened a bank account with 12000 in there. That's way more, that's that's way more than $12,000. Oh, no, this is cash. I'm saying I got money in the bank, 12000 Okay. I say this is a little bit more, but... How much is that? Give me an exact figure, because I'm going to have to eventually take you to the substation and count it out. That's my family. They know exactly how much is there. It's your family's? Yes. Okay, what are you doing with over $20,000? What am I doing? Yeah. What are you doing with that much money, just cruising around? I wasn't cruising around. I was going home, officer. Where's your home at? Uh, downtown. I just don't like to leave it there because if people break in, then they have access to it, so I keep it on me. 
How much money is it until it gets to where it's supposed to be? Okay, where does it need to go? Where's that money going? It's going to, uh, it's going back in a box to uh, the shop. It's my grandpa's. It's, it's a lot of money, 70000 somewhere, somewhere, it's still 30000 believe me. That's, that's not dope money? That's barbershop money? That ain't dope money. That's clean money right there. You can't spell it. That's clean money. True amount was over $125,000. Gonzalez was taken to the Metropolitan Detention Center and received charges for bribing an officer and possession of a controlled substance. However, both charges were dropped as Gonzalez was found to be incompetent. Prepare yourselves for a real shocker of an encounter in this next video. Another vehicle that was pulled over in Alpharetta, Georgia on May 6 of 2021 offered some interesting finds. An officer noticed a vehicle making an improper left turn, prompting a traffic stop. Good evening, how are we doing? I'm fine. Did, did I do something? Did I... You did. You made an improper left turn. You did it from the straight lane instead of the actual turn lane that's marked all over the road. Oh, okay. I'm not from up here. I okay. didn't find there. What are we getting into tonight? Just on my way home. On your way home? Yeah. Where's home? Um, Chatsworth. Chatsworth? Mm-hmm. Okay, and where are we coming from? Um, I don't know where it's called. Um. I was at the Mall of Georgia today, sir, and I have family down here. I live, I live off Sugarloaf. Okay. I live off Sugarloaf for like two and a half years, and my aunt still stuff down here. I spend the day with her at the Mall of Georgia, and then I'm just going back home because I got to work. Well, I don't work at the Mall of Georgia, but I have a hard time believing it's open until oh, 1.30 in the morning, so. I know. I wasn't there today. I was saying it was there today. I spent with my hand. Uh-huh. I just left my hand. Okay. Both of you all have IDs on you? I don't have no ID on you, You don't have ID on you? You normally roll around town without ID? I don't I Where's my little wallet? What's your name, sir? Daniel Atkins. Daniel what? Atkins, sir. Atkins? Yes, sir. A.T.? Yes, sir. What's your, uh, what's your date of birth? Alright. Ms. Slayton, can I get your dog out here with me, please? What are you so nervous for? Dude, you're shaking like a leaf. Why don't you like the police? I just met you five minutes ago. Right. But what? Have you been in trouble before? Or? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You used to be in chain gang? For what? Probation violation? How'd you violate probation? non-report? You ever been in trouble for drugs or anything like that? No. Nothing? Never used drugs in your life? No. No. What have you used? Just marijuana? Nothing else? Not at all? Alright. All right. Hang tight for me, okay? Both passenger and driver appear pretty nervous. The officers denied consent to search the vehicle. After checking the details of the passenger and the vehicle, things don't seem to be lining up, and the vehicle is revealed to have no insurance. I'll be honest with you, okay? The name and date of birth that you gave me and the photo that comes up, doesn't look like you. All right, the information that you're giving me, you, you can't even tell me the actual address that would have been assigned to your driver's license. The addresses that you've given me that you apparently lived at in Dalton don't even come close to what's listed on there. So look, listen, listen, okay? Before you get yourself in trouble, okay? I'm gonna give you one more opportunity to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, okay? All right, honesty will get you a lot further this encounter than lying to me. Okay, I understand you're nervous. 
okay? You're, we've been shaking like a leaf. Both of you guys lit up the nervous cigarette the second I got to the window, okay? Your story doesn't make two bits of sense, okay? I love my auntie too, but I don't leave my auntie's house at 1.30 in the morning and drive the complete opposite direction, okay? And then notice a cop pulls up behind me when I'm getting off the highway and you guys just miraculously turn left, right, in the middle of an intersection. So listen, okay? Help yourself out. I didn't help myself out. I just went through this with two other officers, sir. Just went through the same incident. You went through what? The whole them thinking they ain't me. With her at her work, I swear. But, I mean, the next step we're going to do, man, is I'm just going to call a sergeant out here with a fingerprint scanner, and we'll find out that way. Okay? But I'm just telling you right now, if you want to save yourself the trouble, now would be the time to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, okay? Because that fingerprint scanner don't lie. So, you decide. You're a big boy. You can make that decision right now. You want to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, or do you want me to get the, the fingerprint scanner out here? Get it out here? All right. Can I see right here? Start me someone with a rapid ID, please. You pop your hat off for me, boss. You look at me. The passenger confesses that he gave false information and has an arrest warrant against him. Since the officers are now legally able to search the vehicle for illegal substances, they call in a canine unit, and the fuzzy little trooper helps the officers uncover something pretty naughty. Just go nice and slow, because there's going to be lots of stuff in this car. Yeah, she just made the comment. Uh, she admitted to dabs. I got her to almost yeah. allude to something else, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm clear. That's why I asked. Mm -hmm. He's on felony probation for... You asked about it? Yeah, and of course, neither one of them want to claim it, but they both got track marks for days. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Vote 10 to confirm. However, neither agency wants to play hold. Temple. I'll have my own charges. I'll, I'll be 82, charges. one female, one male. Alright. Here's fair. Both of y'all turn around, please. Can I get my phone out of my car? We'll work on the phone. Yeah, we'll work on the phone and everything. We'll get to the phone and everything when we get there, okay? Just relax. I got about two feet into the car and we're already finding illegal drugs, so let us get through the rest of it and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? Now that we're at this point, is there any open needles in there? Because if I get stuck by one, it's a whole different ball game. So what? Is there open needles? Okay. Are they capped? Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, since we got one more here, yeah, go ahead and just put them in cars. Copious amounts of illegal substances, needles, and weighing scales were uncovered. Both passengers were arrested and charged with drug trafficking, distribution, manufacturing, and delivery. Both faced additional charges individually. For the driver, driving without insurance and making an improper turn, and for the passenger, providing false information to law enforcement. Both were taken to Forsyth County Jail. This next discovery is bound to cost thousands of dollars in total, so don't go skipping out just yet. This was a chance encounter for the police of Lucas County, Ohio. On June 7th of 2023, a highway patrolman pulled over a Toyota Highlander that was tailgating another vehicle. But the vehicle had a most notorious figure sitting inside. Hello, how you doing? You got your license on you? Get your ID on you. How you doing? Hey, good. You doing all right? Yeah. Is this a rental car? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you rent it? I rented. Okay. It. Do you have the rental agreement on you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you need my license? Yeah, if you got them, that'd be great. Thank you. Here, I'll give this paper back to you. I see to see this one right here. 
Третий. Does he not speak any English? No. Okay. Well, the reason I got him stopped is because he's falling too close. I'm not going to issue him a citation. It's just going to be a warning. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, this tailgating. Got to have it back in Denver. Okay. Got to have it back in yes. Denver. Yes. Gotcha. On the 13th. Yes. Gotcha. Where are you guys heading to? How do you know these guys? He's my fiance. Okay. His cousin. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Is he here on papers? Uh, who? Does he have papers? I'll be here. Like a work visa or? No. Okay. Right. Yep. Thank you. I'm not going to issue a citation or anything like that, alright? I'm just going to run your information. Make sure there's no wants for us. Make sure you guys are allowed to get you out of here, okay? Alright, thank you. Behind the wheel is 33-year-old Gabriel Lopez, with 31-year-old Bianca Garcia in the back. In the passenger seat is 33-year-old Velasquez Lauren. All of them are members of MS-13, an exceptionally dangerous and violent gang. Lauren is the leader and is accused of trafficking drugs and placed hits in New York. This agent wants to speak to you. He's going to step out, okay? Any pistoles in the car? Lauren and Lopez were both detained for not being in the country legally. Lauren specifically was given a laundry list of charges, ranging from causing death via firearms and continuing criminal enterprise to money laundering and narcotics distribution conspiracies. What the cops found in this next clip is enough to shock anyone, so don't be quitting on us just yet. A vehicle left a house that was known for drug activity in Columbus, Ohio on September 25th of 2022. They were pulled over by a traffic stop for going over the speed limit. Where did you say you picked him up at? His grandma's. Where's that at? He's gone. Uh, Eureka. You don't know the address? No. That they're going to a football game while I'm at work. Ten minutes. So. Okay. Uh, I this works. My uh, screen is broke, so. It's okay. Forever. Okay. Get out well, we stopped you. Um, hit the curb. Hmm? I hit the curb. Well, <laughs> there, there's a few things. Your your speed and your turn signal, you're going at least 10 over coming up Wheatland. What's the speed limit? 25. Oh, You're sorry. easily doing 35. Oh. Um, so, okay. uh, and then when you turned right back there, you didn't signal <laughs> until like right before you turned, basically. Yeah. Oh. It's got to be not less than 100 feet. You got that insurance up. Yeah. Is that on this? 
this is the rental. Yeah, so is that insurance on this or just use you as a driver, you mean? It's through the insurance company. I don't know if that answers your question. Oh, okay. Is it rental? Like, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, do you have it in the, the while the car's in the shop? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not too too concerned about that. Uh, I mean, if they've set turn. you up with a rental and all that, yeah. you don't really get a rental without good insurance. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, okay. What's your name, partner? Your name is Is there anything in the car or on you guys that shouldn't be? Any firearms, anything like that? How about you, man? Any firearms in the car? No, sir. No? You got ID on you, buddy? I do. Dude, can we see that, please? I'm the passenger of the DMI. Yeah, you don't have to see that. Yeah, you have to, unfortunately. I got a driver's license. All right. A canine unit was called, and a sniffer dog hit the vehicle to indicate the detection of illegal substances. This vehicle is consequently searched. Did you see this? Oh, damn. I mean, I'm telling you, like, large amounts. They just, that's probably a couple thousand right so there. So they stopped them coming out of a dope house. Yeah. Or they were leaving the area. What's that? That's their ledger, I bet. Cash app 206. Well, oh, here's another. So, that was under his seat. Three grams. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Two gram, one gram, three, four, two. We might have just missed it. I bet we just missed this. They probably, yeah, they probably just dropped it. The up was picked up. She works for TSA. I know. So she should have an idea. Son of a I mean, with that ledger though, that's all dope related, 100%. That's grams, price. So, is, there, is there names on it? There, oh, dude. Oh, they're taking all this money. Pills, pills. I'd secure them both right now. Hey, Matt, secure them. Oh, 100%. Suboxone. Oh, yeah. Secure them. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh, see what this is. Careful. That might even be fentanyl. Yeah. I don't know what to say. AN521. I don't know what that so is. I don't know. Yeah. We got this. What were the numbers on that? Definitely 49A. I don't know. M2596. <laughs> Roughly $17,000 was seized alongside the illegal narcotics. The driver and passenger were arrested for the possession of drugs and the money was seized. This next encounter occurred on September 21st of 2022 in Chambly, Georgia. Both a Chevrolet Tahoe and Dodge Charger were spotted making an illegal left turn at a red traffic light, so the officer initiated a traffic stop to pull them over. Interestingly, the Charger was parked in a handicapped parking zone before leaving the vehicle. All right, do you know why I stopped you? Yeah. Okay. Now, what's the deal with that? He went around, ran that, went past on the left, ran that red light, and then you went right behind him. So y'all traveling together? I was just following him. Okay, where are y'all heading to? Uh, we just had, we just left the dealership. The dealership? Yeah. Okay. Was it? Is that you buy that? Yeah. Okay. Brand new car. Just oh. got out of lot. Just got out of lot. Yeah. Okay. That's why you see it paper tag on it. Okay. I could, I couldn't see the tag. It looked like to me. It said just test drive. Test drive. Yeah. Okay. So y'all are just driving it, or no, did you actually? No, we just got it. He got paperwork bought? in the car. Okay. Got okay. Paperwork in the car. All right, man. Let's just your phone. Pack you down for weapons real quick, okay? All right, hang out with Officer Cavan for just a second, okay? All right. Exactly. Sir, my uh, supervisor needs your ID and whoever's registered to this car. No, sir. My, I got my information. I just got the truck. 
can I get the information out of the car? Your truck says test drive. I just let me send him my address. Can you send me the address right here, sir? No. Tip four. He wants to separate himself from this car awful quick, like. He told me he's not affiliated, but kind of affiliated with the Charger, and he's going to ask the cupcake people if there. he knows a place where he can get something to eat. So if one of you wants to come over here. He right there. At the window. I don't know what he's got on. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just trying to run everything and see who's who. They're saying they just got this car from a dealership with a test drive tag on it. He's right there. The car comes back. He's right there. The car comes back to a... in Milton, Georgia. He is a from College Park. The tags say test drive on it. He's saying he just picked it up. Him and his partner were picking up the car from a dealership. He's been on the phone since I got out. So, I don't Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he has. He said reckless, but all I got right now is he parked in a handicap slot. This is Jim Ellis uh, thing in there. That's what it looks like. Hey, boss man, you are not under arrest. Just go ahead and turn around for me real quick. I'm just going to detain you, okay? This is just for my safety. Just until I get another officer on the scene, okay? I'll explain everything else in just a minute, okay? The Tahoe driver is detained for now and admits he has a legal firearm in the back of the car, but nothing else illegal. Both vehicles are searched. What do you make of this? It's not like burn my up. Like, yeah, I don't think it smoked. What is that? Well, I was in his. Oh, I don't want to say someone else's license, then. Yep. I'm going to ask him about that in a minute. He's got a Glock. Got a Glock in there? Yeah. <laughs> He's one to find out. <laughs> 371 ready. Can I get you to run another firearm for me? Do you have criminal history on him yet? You can run in a car now? 71 ready, disregard. It's a dog hit right there. On that side where I was at back yeah, passenger door. So you think you still got it on his person? Like Smoking been sitting in that car. Could have been where he got out, brushed against the door scene, whatever. Yeah. He's been charged about eight billion times, but not convicted. So wow. yeah, he's got a bunch on there. Uh, willful destruction. He's got robbery. He's got battery. He's got all kinds. Of but he's he's it's one of those the cab deals it looks like where time's expired so just letting it ride itself out he's pretty good at his job you're trying to say. He's good. yeah clearly so the stuff he's been look, hooked up for has just been misdemeanor at this point but what about this a draco ak-47 pistol was found in the charger while the tahoe contained a glock that the driver claimed belonged to his cousin this turns out to be true though he was still given a ticket for reckless driving the Charger, however, was arrested on numerous charges, including possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, financial transaction card theft, and reckless driving. 